and they get stuck. So you just gotta get your hammer and... Looks a bit old for this one. <laughs> nah, it's going in that one. <laughs> oh, I'm not good at lying. <laughs> it's not for this, it's for the Chevy. <laughs> How many people do you think would catch on from the thumbnail that the diff's not offset? Pretty obvious it's not for a Ranger. Last weekend he installed the upper control arms and the diff drop. So I'll run you through that now and catch you up to where we are. Coffee smash me, I got like the shags going. <laughs> Whoa, summer has definitely kicked in, eh? It's steamy. Okay, I knew it would, but the last video has gone really well. Everyone was super interested in the coil conversion. Didn't quite finish what we, all the parts you got sent, hey. So we've got upper control arms and a diff drop, so you know, do that today. <laughs> we got no shed space because the, um, the real car's taking up, the Chevy. <laughs> yeah, look at it, shine there. I love you. <laughs> Back from the paint shop, it's had its final buff. So it is show car quality at the moment. And this is what we got going in today. They are pretty legit looking bits of gear, this thing. Is that yeah, billet. And it's good because you can adjust it on the car. You don't have to pull them out to adjust it. Shut the sweet bar mat. <laughs> and a beanie. Because it's pretty bloody cold today. <laughs> Oh, they like extended bump stops. What are they? What are they? Oh. Where's the instructions that you threw out? <laughs> Actually, they emailed them to me. Now we're good. We can figure this out. Oh, that's a little adjuster for the. That's pretty cool. <laughs> There's a diff drop somewhere in here. <laughs> James, metal. More metal. You got more? Yeah. Flares. Oh my. Got these from Ute Mart, but notice they say shadow black. Mine's Mika black. It's a new black. Are they just smooth or are they? Yeah, smooth. EGRs. Okay. Everyone's giving me a hard time about not helping last time. And what you didn't see was the five or six minutes I did help. <laughs> Or what else you didn't see is the hours of editing. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Here is the issue. Too much, much angle. Because it's a weekend, I'm gonna wear a party shirt. <laughs> it's a Sunday. I know what you're thinking. <laughs> Where do I get them? Oh yeah, Max sold all his shirts straight away. Like an hour. <laughs> like an hour. I was like, my man <laughs> and girls. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna do some shirts for Christmas, I think. So probably four weeks time, you'll be able to get like a similar one to that, I'd say. I'll let you know though, probably in the next few weeks. You took the fat pipes and they rerouted the exhaust a little bit so it's back on, yeah? Yeah. Because so. a fair few people were like, what exhaust has that got on it? <laughs> in that last video? Yeah, I had none. The answer <laughs> is none. That's and why it sounded gnarly. It sounded like a wet fart. Driving it, it was like, your hip boost, and I was like, bah! It's just like, ugh. <laughs> One thing I wouldn't recommend is getting rust proofing done by Ford. Because, no offense, Ford. It's not your fault, they sub it out. <laughs> they don't take the bash plates off. It's like, oh yeah, nice rust proof. No sand will ever sit there or salt water. <laughs> no, you don't have to worry about that bit. Yeah, uh, top side. Or, or even underneath the bash plates. None of it's been touched, like, none of that. It's stupid. It's a waste of money getting them. A waste of money. Like... Get an independent bloke. Yeah. I, I can't tell you who's the best, because I don't know, but... I oh, not forward. Oh, rusting. 13,000 Ks. It's only had two beach trips. Three. Point is, rust proofing isn't really very rust proof. Now, this is not an instructional channel in any way. Oh, hell no. This is a just make it happen channel. <laughs> this channel isn't an instructional channel in any way. It's more a motivational channel, you know? So you get in there and give it a go yourself. 
There's plenty of videos on the internet and instructional advice on how to do things properly. If you need that. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Don't we do things properly? Ah, oh, it's not properly, but you know, show people. How to no, do. I don't want to lead anyone astray <laughs> with my safety boots on. <laughs> hmm. Yes. <laughs> that came out so much easier than a Navara's. Navara's gonna like half pull the bloody airbox out to get the bolt out. Alright. Oh, the back needs to be held. CJ ready for his five minutes of help. Yep. Let him go! Let him Woo! Go. Go. <laughs> it's been a night. I need the Allen key in it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just like that. Someone been grooving your grief on the on the tube, mate. Oh mate. Everyone's saying I don't do anything. Look at me go. Who was it in fact? Who was giving you grief? It was my dad. Your dad. Got a secret username. Oh. Didn't know it was him. How long does fifteen minutes of YouTube video take to edit? Or my videos. Yes. The normal ones are one hour for about a minute of video. So about 15 hours. 15, 15 minute videos. Minutes. Yeah. Takes a bit. I could do it quicker, but it wouldn't like the edit would be boring. We don't want boring edits. No. We want good edits. We don't want anything I could do because you'd be thought shitless. You know it'd be nice in here actually. Superior remote res shocks. Oh wouldn't wouldn't that go nicely like <laughs> fancy little bloody <laughs> remote reser over there and a little adjustable duba wacky would be, be fantastic, wouldn't it? I'll have to keep saving me pennies for that one. I've been spending a bit lately. <laughs> <laughs> Can I sway you to get more parts? I think you could. <laughs> but I mean, we've only taken the sway bar out just to inspect the uh, inspect the steel, and it, it's going back in. Straight back in. Straight back in. Oh, oh first bolt. First bolt. Crack the ball joint. Yeah, I mean, we're not an instructional video. But what you gotta do is take this bolt off, <laughs> take that bolt. Yeah, put that in, then put the arm in, and then set that up, and then do that up, and then put the brake line back on, and then release the jack and away you go. Oh, hold on. Gotta crack it. You crack the bolt a little bit, it's a ball joint, so it's tapered in there, and they get stuck. So you just gotta get your hammer and <laughs> pop it. Now, I, <laughs> I once spent three days bashing the hell out of a spindle heating it up to try and get it to pop once on an old Chevy and I was about to burn the car down and I was that <laughs> pissed off. <laughs> That's not too bad, that one? No, <laughs> it helps when it's a brand new car. <laughs> Just this while it's in the car. So and adjust it both ways in. Yeah, so as I wind that out, it winds that out and because it's reverse, it winds that out. Yeah, you could cool. say that some sort of superior Type of engineering. That is some superior engineering right there. <laughs> support vehicle with Jack. Just support the diff for me, mate. We good. Thanks, mate. We're supported. You just stay there for about an hour. Assuming you don't know what a diff drop's for, it's when you lift your car, the CVs get all angled, so the drop makes them straight again. <laughs> I'm trying to make a video here. Sorry, mate. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> We're kind of learning as we go up this. Well, Mac is, I'm not even doing anything. Oh, I'm actually kind of glad it's got instructions. <laughs> <laughs> I normally throw them away, but this uh, this one's pretty good. It's not an Ikea <laughs> package. <laughs> Just when I thought I was done with cutting. Oh, there we go. Because the whole disc coming down, the brackets it's currently mounted to are in the way, so you've got to cut them off. Just checking in, what are we up to here? A couple of hours. Yeah, okay, look, uh, Superior beats me on this one. Oh, it was a bit of fighting around, Paddy come and disrupted us, like, oh, okay. he, he distracted my working environment. It still runs. Just overheats. It'll it overheat, too. yeah. The head gasket went, I think. The old coolant looks like oil now. <laughs> yeah, head gasket, definitely. <laughs> so what are we what are you doing today? You apparently today. Oh flares. We're putting flares on this here. Flares and a quick on-off canopy system. In here. So these beams. 
I got it. Yeah. And now I'm just going to ratchet strap it off. Yeah. I reckon it looks cool with the canopy, but Mac likes the look without the canopy, hey? Yeah. So that's why he's making a quick, easy on and off canopy. It's basically only for camping and doing longer trips, eh? Hey? Yeah. Okay, in case you're wondering, yes, we are. Well, Mac is going to take this truck off road soon. Just doesn't have bump stops yet, and um, it's going down to get engineering done this week, so Superior will sort that out after all that's done, and it's sort of safe to flex it and not worry about the tub getting destroyed. And then go test it out, maybe do a little day trip to Glasshouse, see what it can do now. We also literally have just had no time, we're both working weekends at the moment with our normal jobs, and like this time of the year is just crazy for both of us, so that's why even this video has taken like two weekends to film because. I haven't had time to do it, I think. <laughs> it's Sunday again. We're building an uh, easy on off for the canopy system that you just sort of ratchet strap and whoop, off it comes the truck. And then it just goes whoop. That's the plan, yeah. And then the Apache will just reverse in under it. What have you created here? Look at this. <laughs> Someone needs to start selling them. I don't know who, just a, I don't know, a bloke that sells no waste weekend stuff. <laughs> oh, this is like some sort of engineer. So, we've jacked it up nice and close. Yeah, Done up the ratchet straps a bit. Ratchet strap to the roof racks. Should just have to let this down. Oh, yeah. We're just Try on out. <laughs> Look at that little canopy hanging up the top there. It turned out good. Yeah, profit. Still, if we on flares. Like, I'm like halfway frothing and halfway not frothing. Yeah, it looks good. I think it looks good. It looks more complaint. I worked in this all day. That's all I got. Bloody. Oh, okay. So, yeah, look. <laughs> Don't work out. <laughs> they get dirty. They get dirty. Nearly done? Nearly done. Gonna put that last little piece on. There's no control, mate. Yeah. This guy. Funny Winnie in his patrol. Got a real four wheel drive. Oh, I've turned it up here. <laughs> I got coil rib. <laughs> yeah, anyway, what do you all think? Flares or no flares? What's better? I'm thinking flares, looks good. Just smash it on, mate. Yeah, it's good. It's a little tight, that one. <laughs> Nice not gonna scrub at all. <laughs> and don't look at the other side. <laughs> <laughs>